So there's only certain legal characters when you declare a variable, legal characters within the name of the variable. So your variable names are, need to be made up of letters, digits, or underscores. And even there, there's some more rules I should, should point out. They actually need to start with either a letter or an underscore. You can't start your variable name with a, a digit, for example. And I guess I should say this isn't just true of variable names. This is also true of your class names. It's also true of your method names. Uh, anytime you have any kind of what we call an identifier in Java, they're made up of letters, digits, and underscores, and they need to start with either a letter or an underscore as their first character. Java is a case-sensitive language. And so if you were to declare a variable with a capital letter and then try to declare it also with a lowercase letter, they would be considered two separate variables. They're, they're, they're different because Java is case sensitive. Also, in Java, we're not limited to the number of characters that we use for our variable name. Nor are we limited to how few characters we can use. I guess it's got to be at least one character. I guess there is a limit there. But you can have as many as you want. Normally, you want to meet somewhere in the middle. A variable like n or x isn't very descriptive, but a variable that's, uh, that's uh, uh, way too many characters to type, 30, 40 characters, might be harder to read by uh, uh, as well, I suppose. Uh, finally, when you declare your variables, your methods, your classes, don't use a keyword or a literal value for the name. So for example, literal values, true and false, those aren't legal as variable names. There's another one called null that's not legal. Or keywords, uh, words like public or class or void or static or int, those aren't legal uh, names for your variables. They're being used by Java. And we have a nice list of keywords uh, over on uh, the right-hand page here. We got all of this stuff. I say left-hand, right-hand page. These books, uh, um, usually how we lay them out, and if you uh, download this uh, yourselves and you have uh, your copy, you can sometimes set up your editor or your uh, viewer so you can put these things side by side and uh, page display, two-page view, there you go. So when I say right-hand page, I, I actually have a physical a printed copy in front of me where it's got a left and a right-hand side. So I apologize for saying right-hand page, but that's, that's what it comes down to. These, these kind of connect with each other. Just like on the last page, declarations and the examples associated with them, the intent is that you're kind of looking at it simultaneously. All right, so variable names here. That's what I was getting at. Um, we have keywords. So we, we've already seen some of these keywords like package and like public and static. But by the time we're done with this course, you're going to have seen, oh, probably 80%, if not 90% of these keywords. So we'll, there's plenty of these that you haven't run into yet, but we'll see them as we go forward. Uh, the book also mentions true, false, null. Those are not really keywords, but they are literal values that you're not supposed to use in your uh, variable or method names. And then down below, we have a list of valid and invalid identifiers, uh, just so you can get a, get a look at them. Finally, there's a note at the bottom, and that note indicates that uh, as a Java programmer, we really should capitalize our class names. So if you declare a new class, you should start, start it with a capital letter. But when it comes to things like variable names and method names, usually the convention is that those start with a lowercase letter. However, every word thereafter is typically capitalized. So middle initial, lowercase m, and then capital I on initial. Again, you don't have to do this stuff, but it is recommended. Um, and then finally, there's also a dollar sign character that's, that is legal in these names, but it actually gets used for a special case called an inner class. So we really uh, would prefer that you not use dollar signs in your names. Stick with underscores, letters, and numbers. That's probably the best path to take.